Hey everyone. Coming at you with no makeup on. So, sorry. Um, but I did just want to share today. I just had this thought and I thought, oh, I'll just pop in and, and share it with the group live. Something that I did not expect. Now I cannot, it says it's live, but I'm not seeing myself. So I'm just going to wait until I know. Okay. Something I didn't expect when I started freelancing. And this is might be something that you can look forward to or sort of hope for in the future. So, you know, I've been freelancing, actively pitching articles to various publications, I would say for, gosh, close to four years now. And like really, really actually trying and it's not a place where I work where I was able to publish more easily. And you know, it's hard. I've said that it's hard. It does require dedication. It does require work. However, one of the best things that has come, and this took until this year, you guys, um, is that I have been asked to be a regular writer for a couple of places. And that is, at least for me, kind of the dream. So I never thought that, you know, I never wanted to get a job necessarily as a writer at a specific publication because that kind of limits your possibilities of writing for other places. And so that's never been my goal. Um, but one of the things that happened to me is that as I was, um, you know, continuing to pitch and continuing to write, I was sort of, and this is sort of combined with the God story, I was praying about like, you know, it's like my book is coming out, God, like I need opportunities. I, um, I'm hoping, you know, for more availability to get my writing out there. And I was approached by World Magazine um, to become a regular columnist for their new opinion section. Now, I didn't know this was happening. I had no, I didn't apply. I wasn't told. But because I had been very active in the writing community space, the faith space, and on Twitter, um, I do think Twitter was a part of it, um, the person who is the editor of World was, you know, making a list of these people he thinks would be good writers for this opinion section. And I happened to fit the very specific kind of person they were looking for in terms of my faith and my writing style and the things that I care about. And so um, that has been a really positive development for me, just remaining active and getting out there and making sure people see my, see my work. Um, another similar um, circumstance is the Christianity Today opportunity where I saw they, I had done a couple of pieces for them, but it was very kind of irregular. And I, I then happened to see on Twitter that somebody was, um, like one of their editors was looking for more regular freelance reporters. Well, I jumped on that in about two seconds and I, um, you know, made myself available. I gave ideas. I was always on time. I, you know, I got the best sources that I could and I became a reliable writer and was asked to do more pieces. And then the third example I have of that really just sort of hit me this weekend. So I wrote my third piece this weekend for the American Spectator. Um, and you know, what I love is that they actually, for two out of the three pieces, they have come to me and asked me to write them. Now, some people may not love that, but I do. I love an assignment. And so when you can prove or you show your worth or um, value to a publication in some way, um, they start to see, think of you when they have something that needs to be written or they're looking for someone, but maybe someone on staff or whoever they have isn't quite a good fit or they don't have time. And so I love that I have become a resource or a person that can be counted on from these publications to reach out to and say, hey, could you help us out with this? Um, but I do think it took those three to three years, three, four years of just being consistent, just being regular, being out there and making sure that people could see that I was reliable and that I was a good person, um, you know, when they needed someone. And so I think the more you do that, that's partly, I mean, this goes into, you know, kind of creating your own brand recognition. Like, what are you known for writing about? Um, how are you getting your name out there? Outside of writing the story, are you active on social media platforms? Um, which I know, you know, that just adds time to it. But I don't think I would have had these opportunities if I wasn't out there sort of um, promoting my own work, you know, sort of tweeting with people. Um, I do, you know, Twitter has been huge for me and making connections. Uh, so anyway, I just wanted to offer that bit of encouragement that, you know, down the road, if you if you really push with this, um, you may come to a day where publications are coming to you when they're saying, oh, she writes about that. 
maybe she could write on this angle of this trending story for us. Um, and so for them to reach out to you and say, can you write this? We want to pay you. We want to publish it. I mean, that's the dream, right? So anyway, let me know if you have any questions or comments. That's it.